What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to be replacing the cowl. The cowl is the plastic piece that goes at the bottom part of the windshield in between your hood and your windshield. There's a big plastic piece there. And on my car, on my F30, it's completely destroyed. So that's just from time from winters and harsh weather. It just gets destroyed. It's part of the trim, which inevitably at some point goes out. Sometimes it gets discolored and the actual rubber that goes around it just ends up disintegrating. So mine is in really bad shape. This is something that I've wanted to replace for a while. And now that we have the Tuner Evo show coming up, I just wanna make sure that the entire car is like in really good condition exterior wise. All right, so here is the actual cowl it's this big old black piece that goes in between the windshield and the hood at the bottom part this is the actual part number for you guys and if i have time if i have enough time to order it and wait for it in shipping i just order it from getbmwparts.com but you can obviously go to a dealership and order this as well so the actual part was forty three dollars and 99 cents came out to be like $50 with shipping. So $50 to replace it. Uh, it's just a big plastic piece with rubber parts on it. So let's head out to the garage and put it into the car. It's a pretty easy install, but I think it makes a big difference because mine is super trashed and it's something that you do notice. It's just an eyesore on the entire car. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so we are back in the garage. We haven't done a video in here in a while. So, looking at the car, Thick Whip is looking super clean, right? Everything looks great, beautiful. Hey, let me get to here. And the entire cowl is like this. It's pretty much chewed up all the way across. So is it hurting anything? Probably not. It's probably not hurting anything, but it just looks really bad. It just looks really, really crappy. And you can tell, I mean, it's just completely disintegrated all the way across. The actual trim on the windshield is fine, but the cowl is the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off and replace it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. When you do this, we have to remove the windshield wipers. So keep track of which one is which, left and right. If you're sitting in the car, the right one is longer than the left one. That's a good way to remember, or just put tape around one of them so you can remember which one's which or just set them aside accordingly so you know when you put them back on, you don't mix them up. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Beautiful. So if we look back here, these two guys need to come off. There's some plastic covers on these that those need to come off. And then there's a bolt under that. You need to slide it all the way out. You have 10 mils. These 10 mils have little latches that you turn and that's how you take off the entire plastic piece. And then there's these little five millimeter Allen bolts that need to come out too. And you'll see they have little arrows on them. That's how you know that it's realigned and ready to be locked into place. So you need to turn that in order to unlock it. So in order to get that out, we also need to take this off, which is super easy. Um, this whole thing, you're just basically removing all the plastic pieces, like this one and that one, so you can slide out the actual top cowl. But let's go ahead and take the windshield wipers off first, and then we'll go from there. All right, so these bolts that hold on the actual windshield wipers are 16s. Once you break it, it just comes off by hand. All right, so for the next part, in order to get off the actual windshield wiper, you'll find that it's seized onto the bolt. You can't actually get it off by hand. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can use a puller tool from like AutoZone or there's another method. And it's not technically the right way to do it, but it does work if you're careful. If you are gonna do this, just be careful. Basically, you just use a 15 millimeter or any wrench that will fit behind the actual bolt and wiper itself. So I'll, I'll show you guys up close what it looks like. But then all you're gonna do is tap on the actual thread on top. Obviously you don't want to ruin that thread on top though, so it's probably wise to put some of the bolt back on because you're gonna be basically breaking it free. And so the idea is to tuck the wrench back here, hold it on this side so it's not hitting the glass. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on the bolt 
in order to break it free from the actual stem that is actually holding the wiper onto the car. So you can't do this by hand. You're, you're gonna need either a puller tool or you can try it this way. And now we can just pull up this one as well. All right, so there's the actual bolt, and you'll see that it's got these little threads on it. And what happens is the windshield wiper actually seizes to those threads. So you're basically just breaking it loose and using that wrench underneath for leverage while also pushing in the pin with the hammer. Like I said before, this is not like the correct, correct way to do it. You can use a little puller tool. You can buy them on Amazon or like AutoZone. But in a pinch, you can do it without that. You just use a little wrench and just be careful. Don't take the hammer and like slap around. You don't want to hit your windshield. You don't want to hit the threads and you obviously don't want to hit your windshield wipers. So if you are going to do it that way, just be careful, but it does work. It works fine. I've done it before on a few other cars and that's how I knew that this would work on this car. So with that being said, you guys use this method at your discretion and if it works for you, great. If not, go ahead and get a puller tool. So let's move on to the next part and remove the actual plastic pieces so we can take out the cowl. So we're going to take these guys and turn them a quarter of a turn. These are all 10 millimeters. So you're just turning them a quarter of a turn. Just like that, you see it starts to lift stuff up. And you will need to take off this whole plastic part. It just slides out like that, set that to the side. And that's gonna allow you more access to everything out of here. And obviously in order to take this out, you're gonna have to take off that top piece. So repeat that same process on this side. Quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn. Lift up, there's a little uh, rubber grommet pieces on this side, hold it in. So that's what you're popping it out of. So the last part in order to get the cowl off, you have nine five millimeter Allen bolts. And we're not gonna take them all the way out. We're only gonna turn them a quarter of a turn, the same way that we did with the 10 millimeters. Turn it a quarter of the turn. And if you guys look up close on them, there's actually little arrows, just like the 10 mils. If the arrows are matching up, then it's locked in place. And obviously if you turn it, it's not locked. And then the last thing that you need to do is if you look under each side, there is a little plastic cap right there. So we have to remove that plastic cap. Also, shout out to Sensational, dude. They wrapped all the way under here. <laughs> That's incredible. So what we can do is you can do it two ways. You can remove this whole piece, which is just these little push pins. Pop right out like that. And then this whole plastic piece right out. So you can do that. Generally, I would use like a trim tool like this in order to get this guy out. You're just sliding it in there like that and prying it out. There we go. It's basically just like a little screw. If I weren't filming, I would probably do it without removing this part, but just to show you guys a little bit easier. We'll do the same thing on this side. Be careful not to lose these. I actually have like 20 of these, like extra, just because I lose them all the time. Wonderful bolt again, little plastic guy. Got lucky, almost lost it. That is the joy of working on cars, my friends. I'll tell you one thing. It is really easy to lose things when you are filming and installing parts. <laughs> I do it all the time, just to get the video, just for you guys. This thing is, look at it literally just crumbling. Like the whole thing is just coming apart. All right, so at this point, you're golden. You can just lift these two parts over the windshield wiper. Heads, slide it out. Ba -ba -bum. Just like that. Thing is super chewed up. And this is all just little rubber. As you can see, it just gets really dry over time. Just ends up disintegrating. So, we got a new one. Before we move on, isopropyl, brag. I'm gonna clean up all of this, it's super nasty. 
just to make sure the contact is nice and clean. All right, so new cowl. Go ahead and open it up. You'll see that these two center pieces are missing. So we have to pop those out of the old cowl and throw those in the new one. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then we can go ahead and install it. These guys in the center, pop them out from the back. Pop them out from the back. Clean off these rubber pieces. So you guys can also put rubber protectant on these to try and help them last longer. Either way, after a long time, they're gonna go bad. This car's a 2013, so six years of sitting outside and baking in the sun, and you know, for a few of those years, it was in some harsh winters. Just gonna dry out and crack, it's inevitable. Go ahead and pop these back in, like so. And you'll see that all of the Allen bolts are already turned, so they're ready to be installed. So we can go ahead and just slide it in there and basically repeat the process backwards that I just showed you guys. So I'm gonna set you up for a time lapse. Little progress update. Don't forget to put these guys back in. This whole thing sneaks behind here. There's a little latch that goes underneath your windshield, but you guys will see it when you reinstall it. Should look like that. Look at how nice and clean and new it looks. Just be careful when you're reinstalling it. You obviously don't want to scratch up your new cowl. Checking out the other side. Yup, got our boy in here. So we're good. All the dials meet each other, little arrows. So those are cool. Fitment's OEM, obviously. So now I'm gonna throw these fender liners back on here on both sides. And then after that, we'll go ahead and put these covers back on. And lastly, we will do the wipers. We have everything back together. Just gotta throw on the windshield wipers. But yeah, it looks a ton, ton better. It's like brand new now. All right, so we got them both back on. The way I did it, I basically just lined them up with the same way that they were Facing last time, they do have rivets on the inside. So as soon as you place it onto the actual rivets and you start screwing it down, it snaps into place. I basically just line them up to how they were positioned before. That looks good to me. We'll go ahead and turn them on just to make sure they are functional and everything works well. But as far as I can tell, this is solid. So this part is obviously not something that you have to do, but I used a rubber and plastic protectant. I use it on this side, and I didn't use it on that side. So you guys can see the difference. See how shiny that is on the left side? That's basically something that I use before car shows, or just like once a month, I dress up the plastic on the engine bay. And it's supposed to just protect the plastic, help it last a little bit longer, and it looks a little bit nicer when you are popping your hood. So you can tell this part is like super dry. Over here, it's like nice and wet. If you guys are interested in that stuff, I will link it down below. You guys can go ahead and pick it up. All right, so that is the cowl replacement. Yeah, looks good. So obviously this is something that not everybody has to do. For me, it's a little bit different. I go to a lot of car shows. This car has a lot of eyes on it when I go to these shows, so I just like to make sure that everything looks nice. And I like to just keep this car really well maintained from all of the trim pieces, to the engine, to the exterior. I just really, really put a lot of care and attention and detail into this car. So that is why I'm doing it. And obviously, you know, I wanna make these kind of videos for you guys in case you come across this problem and it's something that you wanna replace, now you know. So if you guys have any questions about anything that we did here today, 
go ahead and drop a comment down below. This is not a difficult install. It's rather simple. And then I would just test out the windshield wipers to make sure they work. Well, I think at this point it's safe to say that we are good to go. Super clean. It's like brand new. Looks so nice. So much better than the previous cowl. But yeah, you guys, the Thick Whip is looking really, really good. We have the Tuner Evo show coming up this weekend, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited to see everyone there. The car is in tip top condition, so we are ready for the show. Anyways guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. All of the parts that we use in today's video, the tools and the actual BMW parts are gonna be linked down in the description. If you guys have any questions, make sure you go ahead and comment down below. Please do like this video, hit that bell notification, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.